Rabindranath Tagore was the first non-European to win the Nobel Prize in Literature. He was a poet, musician, artist and an Ayurveda researcher. He reshaped Bengali literature and music. Due to the importance of his work and its extent of international impact, he is recognized as the Vishwakabhi, the poet for the world. Do you know Tagore composed the national anthem of India and Bangladesh? Tagore was born on 7th May 1861 in Calcutta, British India. The Tagore family was at the forefront of the Bengali Renaissance. They hosted theatres and sponsored publication of literary magazines. Recitals of Bengali and Western classical music featured there regularly. This would have given Rabindranath from an early childhood knowledge of many cultures and a cross-cultural perspective. Before the start of the First World War, Tagore visited London. There is an interesting story. In London, travelling on the underground, Tagore temporarily lost one of his precious volumes. Fortunately, it was handed in and found its way to the lost property office at Baker Street Station. English literary critic and artist William Rothenstein had recovered the copy and showed it to his friend. On reading the translated works, Rothenstein immediately had three copies typed up and passed them over to the literary scholar Andrew Cecil Bradley, writer Stopford Brooke and poet William Butler Yeats. Tagore's name was proposed to the Nobel Prize Committee by the writer Thomas Sturge Moore. He got strong support from the Swedish poet Werner von Heidenstam, who later was awarded the prize in 1916. After winning the Nobel Prize, Rabindranath Tagore became an international celebrity. He travelled through many countries, receiving accolades and warmest reception. He visited Japan, China, America and Europe. Soon after the First World War, he also visited South America, Egypt and later Iran and Iraq. He met scholars, poets, politicians and held lectures and readings of his poems everywhere. His three visits to Germany during 1921, 1926 and 1930 were an overwhelming success. He visited Austria twice in 1921 and 1926. The well-known publisher Kurt Wolf published translations of Tagore's work into German. The Indian poet accepted an invitation from Baltic philosopher Hermann Kaiserlin to attend a Tagore week in Darmstadt. He met Sigmund Freud in Vienna, Stefan Zweig in Salzburg, Thomas Mann in Munich, Martin Buber and Paul Natorp in Darmstadt, Rudolf Otto in Marburg and Albert Einstein several times in Berlin. Bertolt Brecht, Rainer Maria Rilke, Hermann Hesse, Franz Kafka and Heinrich Zimmer all wrote about him. Former Vice President of India, Mohammad Hamid Ansari has said that Rabindranath Tagore heralded the cultural bringing together of communities, societies and nations much before it became the liberal norm of conduct. The world remains fascinated with the works of Rabindranath Tagore. Tagore remains the Vishwakubi. Jodi tor dak shune ke unai aashi to be yekla cholori. Jodi tor dak shune ke unai aashi to be yekla cholori.